trip today heading east and I think we're entering Pennsylvania right now well, that's that's kind of where we're at right at the border being that I can't do a whole lot of course I have V driving for me today she's a good pilot heavy road, a lot of construction, a lot of semi-traffic, but she's doing really well. And the speed limit's fluctuating up and down and up and down. So what are we doing going to Pennsylvania? We are going to Cook Forest, Pennsylvania. It's a big, huge state park in PA. And it's supposed to have the largest conifer trees or pine trees in this side of the United States. So that ought to be interesting. They got a campground there. We're going to check out the campground, see if it's something we'd like to do in the future. Tow the Hemi up here. Uh, get an idea for that. And then we'll probably do some hiking. We've got a big picnic lunch pack. We've got the backpack in the back and munchies. We're looking forward to a fun day. Something different, something exciting. I hope we see a bear. We're coming into bear country, so uh, the odds are there that the possibility that we may see a black bear. Um, that would be fun. That would be really cool if we did. But anyway, we're up for anything, so. It's just a new adventure, something we can do today, a little road trip. I'm just riding shotgun here, enjoying the view. That's a change, huh? Usually, I'm the passenger. Yep. You're the driver today. Mm -hmm. We saw a sign back there that said, Welcome to the Pennsylvania Wild. So I think we're coming into some, you know, the one thing about Pennsylvania, there's a lot of wilderness areas. Just a lot of country. and we'll be off the highway. Beautiful. A pretty one there. Nice. We're doing some winding and twisting now. Climbing. Very mountainy roads. Yeah. I think we'd have a hard time pulling the Hemi down through here really be shifting gears. We're coming into the camp now, Cook Forest, and uh, we're only moments away. We haven't seen the sign yet, but it's right up here somewhere. As soon as we find a place to stop, we'll find a nice little picnic table or something where we can sit down and have some lunch. Getting hungry, V? Yes. <laughs> Woo, look how pretty this is. We're gonna eat our lunch here at these picnic tables. Gosh, this is lovely. I've this never is, seen anything so beautiful. This is Cook Forest, and it's a huge forest. I mean, the pine trees are just everywhere, and they're huge. And it's just a deep woods. There's big valleys and ravines, and then these babbling streams. It's gorgeous.
You reading about the bear? No, I'm reading about the trails. 52 miles of trails to be exact. Oh, cool. I don't think we can walk 52 miles in one day. The Baker Trail and the North Country National Scenic Trail. The Baker Trail is 140 miles long. Good grief. Running from Freeport in Armstrong County all the way to the Allegheny National Forest. The North Country Trail is still under development but will be will someday connect the Missouri River in North Dakota with the Adirondack Mountains in New York. Holy cow. That's that like the fun. Appalachian Trail. That would be fun, huh? This is the learning center, so it's called. It doesn't appear to be anyone in here, but it's like a museum of sorts. Almost like a nature center. Yeah. Some animals that one might... See, don't carve in trees. This tree died of a heart attack. Carving hearts and trees seems harmless enough, but it cut short the life of this majestic oak. Oh, and look at this visitor. <laughs> and bobcats, of course. We're hiking this Longfellow Trail, and so far it's been all uphill. Just taking our time now in this old growth pine forest. Look at the size of some of these trees down. The info in the nature center said some of these trees are 300 years old. Yeah. Well, the further we get back in, the bigger they get. This is one of the tall cathedral pines 
And I mean, it, it's just you got to be here because looking at it from camera view just doesn't do it justice. The thing just goes up to the sky. It's just these things are just amazing. They're like hundreds of feet tall. I hope not. out there I'll film you if you want to go on the rock or you want me to go. You going in? I don't know. It might be cold on your feet. <laughs> it's icy. Is it? I think we finally made our way off the trail. They said that was a mile and a half. And it was pretty tough because it went up really steep, 
really good heavy grade for a long way and then when you got to the top you turn around you came back down so it was pulling on your calves on the back of your legs well, we made it back to the parking lot now. Car's over there. Picnic area where we left it. And uh, now we've been told by the ranger to check out the uh, lookout tower in the overlook area. So, Oops, sorry. Here's where we were. Cook Forest State Park. The cathedrals. The Forest Cathedral, amazing trees. Not going to find any trees like that anywhere else around here on this part of the country. Go to California, maybe the redwoods. B found us like a little one way dirt road that goes back to the fire tower, so she's jeeping it now in her row. <laughs> I didn't think of that. What if a car is coming out? I think it's one way. I think it's a one way loop. It's a bumpy little one lane road through the forest. So cool driving among the big trees, the big boys. Yeah. It is very pretty. up to the fire tower what we've been told by the ranger that it is a really awesome view well worth the effort to get to so hopefully it's a short stroll I'll try and stay on two feet this time I fell on the last trail <laughs> better I her tried. than me yeah I was reaching for you I can't fall with my arm in this sling I I can walk, but uh, if I were to go down on my shoulder, oh oh, my I'd end up back in the hospital. So, taking things very slow, methodical. But she stubbed her flip flop on a tree stump, on a tree root. A root. And down she went. Look at these cool rocks. That is pretty. That looks inviting. That's beautiful. Beautiful forest. Huh. It reminds me of the ledges. Yeah. Interesting. And you can look down onto the the rivers way over there. And there's the fire tower 
which I would love to climb, but with my arm and being one-handed, I've been up fire towers before, and they look easy. It looks like you're just going up steps, but it's scary. Coming down is even worse. <laughs> 